Hey guys, Mike Loves Nature here. Today we're back at this beautiful slice of nature. Today we're here to gather some leaf litter for our worm farm. If you're wondering what leaf litter is, it's essentially just the forest floor. So what I found here, some decaying log and a really muddy decaying log so I grabbed some of this stuff this is something worms will also really like to dig around in and uh, give something to break down over time hold moisture so what I've done here is I've captured a little isopod that I saw it's one of those yellow dotted ones see here is what you will need for this project. So everything you will need for this is a drill with a generally small drill bit. The three main components that will be filling up the container will be leaf litter, newspaper, and dirt. Black earth specifically. You're also going to need water to mist down the newspaper and everything as you layer everything up. You're going to need scissors to cut up the newspaper. I have two pieces of styrofoam that I'll be using to jack up the bottom of the container for water drainage. Uh, the worms. And a large Tupperware that's not clear because they do like it dark. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my newspaper. You want just regular paper, nothing plastic or anything like that, just regular newspaper. And I'm just going to do this to all the newspaper now. So the paper's all straight up and put into this bucket for now. Um, I did find the best way to do this was just grab and rip it. Now I'm going to drill some holes into the lid. So I've added a bunch of holes to the lid here that's going to allow some airflow and uh, moisture to dry up and get out of the containers so stuff doesn't get moldy. Now we're going to drill some more holes in the bottom side and this will allow drainage for water to flow out the bottom. As you can see I put far less holes in the bottom. This is just to mostly allow some water to drain out. Uh, I made sure to put a couple of holes in the lowest spots to make sure water that doesn't pool up there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do layers of newspaper, leaf litter, and black earth. And I'm gonna do three or four layers of that until I get to the top. So as you're going through, you wanna make sure you mist your leaves and your newspaper levels uh, just enough to hold uh, moisture just get them nice and wet and then you're good to go and you keep making your layers all the way to the top so you just want to cover everything So that is the finished product. I added a little bit more leaf litter to the top to kind of help hold some moisture in the top area there. It's not exactly needed, but I felt like doing it, so I did. So I went ahead and picked up some night crawlers for this project. I've got five packs of 12. So they're all gonna be thrown in here and hopefully they will start breeding. In about uh, two to three weeks, we should hopefully start seeing little babies.
So now I've added all the worms. They're still a little cold because they were in the fridge, so they're a little docile. But uh, from here on out, they'll be uh, living in this container. May you live happy little lives. They actually eat coffee beans and old greens. So this is actually my uh, coffee from this morning, the old uh, leftover beans. So I'm gonna give this to them. So I put the lid back on. I'm gonna shove it underneath my, uh, my fish cabinet here and it shall live out its days. Thanks for watching, I hope you guys found this video useful. I plan on doing a few more do-it-yourself bug videos over the next few days, so uh, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.